can't wait for his return. We'll be able to do so uh, very soon to be able to see him in person and to hear him in person. Uh, this morning, I want to say a big thank you to those of you in the diaspora. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't have done it, and we couldn't have done it, I should say, uh, without those of you in the diaspora. And I'm talking about the, the New York Flambo Caucus. What a tremendous job that you did. What a tremendous work that you prepared. You were able to prepare this thing and get it going. Folks, you've done a great job and it's a job that must be admired, a job that must be praised, you know, in terms of what you did. Um, you know, and to, I thank those of you who came f as far as, um, uh, as Canada to be able to be present with us uh, during uh, this event on Sunday. And those of you who came from Connecticut, from New Jersey, from Texas, from Miami, uh, from all over, uh, you did come in. And for those of you who came in as far as Georgia, my brother Novel, you know, thank you very much for being a part of this. Um, Flavor Caucus, uh, big up yourself. You've done a beautiful job. You've done something very powerful, something that a lot of people and a lot of organizations should emulate. I was very happy last December when the, the inspiration came that we should put together of Lava Caucus and we thank Brother Guy Joseph for being there with us from the inception and when we put it together it was just a few of us in the cold and dead, dead of winter we all we'll put it together and this thing worked and it grew and grew until we have so many uh, members and so many persons participating and uh, I say thank you to Ian, I say thank you to uh, Sister Diane, Sister, um, to Diane, Boss Lady, I say to Sister Carly, good morning, Thomas, good morning, thank you, to Donna, to our, our, our Chairman Ronnie, and to our Deputy Chairman uh, Timothy Lubin, good morning, Feria, good morning, Feria Shalri, good morning, and um, if I'm missing uh, uh, our sister, uh, Mrs. Lord, uh, good morning, you know, you guys, you guys have done a lovely job and to my wife Sharon, thank you for being the support uh, for the base of our, of our organization back there and it was a wonderful thing that you did and we want to thank you and to Sharon for doing such a magical uh, uh, work and, and, and helping with the organization and then helping all of us come together. But Castor, good morning to you, thank you for all of the work that you did. Spider, which is uh, our DJ, thank you so very much in New York. Um, your, without your help, I don't think we would be able to make it. Uh, Dr. Ga uh, Pastor Garfield, good morning to Miniva Ward, who came from all the way from, from uh, Canada to drive an eight to nine hour drive to just to be there. Uh, good morning. So many beautiful folks who showed up for this and event and it was good. Um, this morning, um, as I said, we won't be your typical point blank because we have a bit of technical issues here. But uh, the lines are, will be open very early, so you can give us a call at uh, 456 uh, 09 31 and 485 09 31. So you can give us a call, and we're waiting for your calls to be able to. Um, uh, just uh, lengthen this program as, as much as we can in the absence of the usual segments of uh, point blank. So five four five four four five six sorry zero nine thirty one and four eight five uh, zero nine uh, thirty one is the is the no other numbers that you can call to give us uh, to let us know what you felt what you feel if there are any other issues that you want to discuss uh, feel free uh, to do so. But it's a wonderful morning and it's a morning that we all can be very happy for. Uh, folks, you know, where there is a will, there is always a way. And so um, I am not one to come into anything and don't give my all. I come into it and I give my very all. And so uh, plans, I want to let you know this morning that plans are on the way uh, for the establishment of a Canada, Ca Canadian uh, Flambo Caucus. So we will have a Flambo uh, Canadian Caucus or, or should I say chapter in Canada and um, those of you who uh, wish to be a part of it 
you can message me at Rene T. Prudent on Facebook and I will, prov I will, will exchange numbers and uh, we will add you to our WhatsApp group because we've got to put this together and we've got to put it together very soon. And I know there are lots of people who have come forward since I announced it on, on, on uh, Thursday I did and uh, I have welcomed it and we have so many persons who want to, to be a part of it. Organization is the key. United Workers Party can never get to back to office if we have persons who sit on their laurels, if we have persons who just try to get positions that they are unable or incompetent to be able to, to, to deliver. And so that is why we need people to not sit on the fence and to be able to become active participants in trying and moving uh, this party uh, and, 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 and Sky FM uh, forward. And this is so very vital. This is so very important. I think we have a call here and we are going to take it. Hello, caller, you're on the air. This is TP. Good morning. How are you? Thank you. Yes, we're trying to get... Hold on a moment. Let me see if I can raise the volume up a little bit. Can can you can you, can you continue speaking? Okay, because we're hearing you in a muffled sound. I don't know why. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just give me one moment. See if we can get this together here. Okay, can you can you go on? Yes, we're we're still having issues with the the, the board here. Yes, just just bear with me. Let's see if I can do some magic here. All right, no, nothing is coming on. I'm not, I'm hearing you, but in a very uh, muffled uh, sound. Let me see if I can raise some of this. Uh, uh, okay, all right, can, go ahead. Okay, we're extremely low, so I will have to try to see if I can reset there, not even the, the colors that are calling, we can hear you. And um, we are in the typical buttons that we use, the gadgets that we use to bring about the sound and I'm not hearing you. So if possible, let me fix this and see if we can take your call a bit later, okay? Thank you so much. Yes, folks, we have, we have some serious issues here this morning and, um, and it seems as if we, uh, all right. Okay, but I'll try to see what we can do in terms of, 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 of uh, fixing this issue. I can hear the call is very in a muffled sound. And if I can hear the call in a muffled sound, I know that you guys uh, can't hear her either. So this is what we are faced with uh, this morning in terms of, um, um, you know, uh, trying to present something good. But going back to what I was saying, so we're, we're, we're in terms of um, Canada, we need to go forward and we need to put this together. The diaspora is very important to, 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 to the work of any political organization. And if you're, if, you're, if you're a political organization and you do not think of the diaspora, that means that you are not ready to be able to lead. You're not ready to be able to move your party forward. And so we are seizing on this initiative uh, in order to be able to set up the diaspora these are the people who send remittances back to their family in St. Lucia. These are the thousands who on election day come out to vote from the diaspora. And those who can't come to out to vote, they are the ones who call their parents. They are the ones who call their friends. They are the ones who call their relatives to come out to vote for the United Workers Party. And so if anybody did not see this as relevant, then I am sorry, you don't know politics. You don't understand the politics of, 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 of the modern age and of how it works. And uh, so we will put together um, a calendar. We're coming soon. We're going to be putting together this particular forum and um, we are going to be able to be as active as active can be. And no dead thing. I'm not participating in nothing that's dead. Nothing which is a bad time, poor, poor time, not participating in this. I am participating in something which is vibrant, something that is trustworthy, something that people can respect and something that can show that we're on our way as an organization to becoming the best that we can be. And for those of you in London and in, in, in England, the United Kingdom, I know you've been calling me ever since 
you heard about what happened and saw what happened in New York and you heard about the soon of um, the plans for the formation of the uh, uh, Canadian um, uh, Flavo uh, chapter. I know you've been calling me. Your turn is going to come very soon because I will travel to the United Kingdom, I would say, in early next year to be able to set you guys up and to be able to put together the kind of organization that is needed and the kind of coordination that is needed in the diaspora to make it happen. Hopefully we can do this here in St. Lucia and uh, we can uh, come out of our, um, uh, you know, lazy um, uh, um, uh, or non-caring way of doing things here and be able to set us and to set this body on a path that seems to be a progressive path, a path of unity and a path of really basically putting people together. So uh, we were able to do that. Um, I'm going to open up the lines again and, and hopefully this time it works. Uh, give us a call at 456 09-31-485-09-31 and uh, let's, let's, let's just see how this comes and, uh, along. So uh, folks, give us a call and don't hesitate to give me a call here. Let's see if I can take your call and hopefully the call is as um, clear so everyone can hear you. Uh, all right, folks, so I'm waiting for you. Uh, in the meantime, maybe I can play some music off the list here, not the, the particular music that I like, but uh, something here that is, um, you know, that you may just enjoy. Uh, let's see, but I, I, I really want to hear from you. I really would like to hear uh, your contributions this morning and uh, what you feel and what you what you hope for and in, in the months uh, ahead as we've gone through an entire year, an entire year of a terrible government. Let's see if we can take this call. Hello caller, you're on the air, this is TP. Yes, loud and clear, thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Yes. 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 Yes, thank you. Yes, they are. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, we do. Yes. Thank you so much for the reassurance and thank you for the, for the kind words. And uh, folks, this, this is what we need. The type of unity that is able to move the United Workers' Party forward. The kind of vision, the kind of thinking, the kind of boldness, the kind of um, uh, attitude to change. Uh, not disunity, not any uh, continuous quarrelling, not continually looking for position that you know that you've not been able to deliver and will not deliver. You want pe persons to move to the front now to be able to assist our great leader Alan Chastney in moving this country forward. And this is what we need. And, and, and when we do that, we have to move in unison. We have to move together in unity. We have to move together in, with a purpose because our fight is not amongst ourselves. Our fight is with the St. Lucia Labour Party. And this is the government that have lied to the people of this country. This is the government that have misled the people of this country. And this is the government that have proved that it is incompetent and insufficient. Yes, I use the word insufficient in terms of brain power to be able to establish good things for this country, create jobs, uh, handle the crime situation, handle uh, the, 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 the issue of, of medicine and, and the issue of medical and uh, services here in this country and give St. Lucians that kind of liberation and that kind of liberating power that they need to be able to move this country forward. And so we want to ensure that the work that we do here, we're not wasting our time, I know we're not, because from Sunday you can see what happened on Sunday. This was magical and to have uh, our great leader Alan Chastney present 
his dad, Sir Michael, present, Guy Joseph present. We had so many people that came in, my God. And um, I just was overwhelmed. I, I had a moment of reflection because uh, I can be sentimental when I'm on my own. And um, when, when the crowd left the house and everybody departed lit into the morning, I had a little bit of tears. I can share it with you. I had a little bit of tears in my eyes because not tears of sadness, but tears of joy in realizing that the United Workers' Party is on the mend. The United Workers' Party is on its way. And uh, this is um, what we're about. This is what we're about. And I'm saying to you, anytime the United Workers' Party puts its mind to be able to make things happen, it will happen. When you have, when you have a, 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 a big heart, like the Flabo Caucus, unselfish people, you know, working together, putting things together, contributing immensely to what was happening. You don't have to ask them. They were just coming in and saying, I'm doing this and I'm doing that and I'm bringing this and I'm bringing that. You know, oh, oh TP, don't worry, we will handle that. And to have everybody, everybody handle things. I mean, what more do you want? And you had my wife, Sharon, Auntie Sharon, as she's called by the caucus, you know, uh, helping in any way that she possibly could. Her mum, you know, assisting. I mean, what more do we want? This is the blueprint for victory. This is the blueprint for the way forward. This is the most uh, uh, unifying thing that any organization can do. And that's why Canada will come in. Before the year is up, we will have a Canadian executive in place. Then that is for the diaspora and England and the United Kingdom. As I said, I promise you, I promise you with all my heart that in early, at the early part of next year, God's willing, we will put things together in England and we will end up going down to the US Virgin Island and put things together. So St. Lucians from all walks of life and in Miami and in Texas, that we can motivate you to action and to do whatever that is uh, necessary to remove this government on the backs of your people and the backs of your families and on the backs of this country. And uh, you know, so many lies, so many deception, so many bad things that was said, you know, and they're in office right now and we're seeing this government so miserable. They're only able to be able to fulfill anything here for this country. And so me, I'm not in the mood for infighting. I'm not in the mood for non all the nonsense. I am in the mood to let's go to convention. It's time that we go to in our convention. It's over a year. We need to, 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 to hasten this thing. Let's go into a convention. Let's elect the people that the majority needs and don't disrespect the base of our party because they are important. They will play a very significant role in any victory the United Workers Party is going to have and is going to do, is going to achieve. And so me, as of next Sunday, Folks, prepare. I will be in your communities all over this country. I will be going back on the roads again. I will announce it and I will tell you in what location or what parts of the country I will be on any given Sunday. And I ask you to come out and meet me out in the streets. Meet me in the streets, meet me wherever you, in a park, meet me wherever you want and I will be with you. I am committed to this fight I am committed to the struggle. I am committed to the United Workers' Party moving forward. The party of my mother, Frances Pruden, the party of John Compton, the party of, of, of Henry Girodi, and the party of all the great stalwarts of our party, and now the party of Alan Chastney. And loads of us will be there to be able to give him the kind of support that is necessary in moving this country forward. I don't care for all the nonsense. Keep your nonsense to yourself. 
Keep your infightings to yourself. Keep the bad blood to yourself. Keep the voice notes to yourself. I don't want any part of these things. All I want is for our party to move forward and all I want is for change to come. And change must begin within the United Workers' Party. And change must begin within this greatest party that has ever ruled this country. How can we not be, how can we be so oblivion to, to the fact that this is a great party? This is a great party. And the only way to make it better, and the only way to make it what it's supposed to be, is to unite. Unite! This is what it is. Unity. Stop the nonsense. Stop the greater than you, bigger than you, because you have a position within the United Workers' Party. You know, I'm tired of it. Your base is tired of it. A lot of people are just tired of it. We're sick of it, really, honestly. Because we know it's just a handful. It's just a handful. It does not reflect the will of the greater part of our party. It does not. And if you go out there and speak to the base, you'll realize the base is not where the handful is. We want to move forward. And so I'm saying to everyone, starting next Sunday, I'll be on the road. I'll tell you what time I will be in your communities or in your community on any given Sunday. Come out and meet me. Come out and meet me in your communities. Come out and speak to me. And I'm not out there for division. I'm out there to, to move forward with the collation of the willing. Those who are ready to move their party forward. Those who are ready to move into a convention. And those who are ready to have the United Workers Party as, as speak out in one voice. In one voice. This is what we want. This is what we want. This is what we hope to achieve. And you know, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing when the base of our party, I've never seen United Workers Party, you know, I've never seen United Workers Party alone lose an election and then everybody goes quiet after it has, it has done. I mean, I've seen that in the past, but I'm talking about now. I'm talking about now. And to have an animated base is so very important to move forward. And as we start our message to be able to move this party forward with the base, our jobs, as I've always said here on my show, is to educate all solutions from all walks of life. We have to educate every single solution from all walks of life. And it does not have to be our base, but the work begins with our base. Because we know to win an election, we must be able to get votes that are beyond our base. I've always preached that. Though nobody has to tell me about it. If they're listening to Point Blank, they will know. I've always preached that on, my, on, 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 on this show. And so we have to broaden that tent beyond the 37,400 persons or voters who voted for the United Workers Party. Because elections, winning elections, is not a game of subtraction, but a game of addition. And this is where we are. A game of addition. And so we are going to have to put pressure on our various branches so that we can broaden our branches. We cannot have uh, a whole, uh, say for example, 10,000 people voting in a constituency and you only have 34 persons as members of our party, financial members of our party. The time to broaden our base is now. The time to move this country forward is now. And we are going to ensure that by the end of next year, every single branch, United Workers Party branch in this 
238 square mile country is functional, larger, and more participating than any at all. And you see, I said to you, we have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of work to do to move this party forward and we cannot move this country forward until we move our party forward. Because we are the engine of change. We are the engine that is supposed to help direct the masses of the people in terms of the vision that we have for this country. And the only way to do it and the only way to do it is to be able to broaden our base and to get the good word out there that the United Workers Party is back. I say to you, humility is the key. Humility is the key. Anybody who is too proud of themselves, anybody who thinks that they are better than others, Anyone who thinks that others do not have the right to speak and to exercise that God-given liberty to be free in thought and free in, free in mouth have a problem. And so, as we understand the way forward, we can take this good news of political liberation forward to liberate our country. So our base is important moving forward and as our base go out and they're educated and trained about the message forward, the vision forward, we can go to every community in this country. We can go to every rural area of this country. We can go to the valleys of this country and we can go to the mountain tops of this country and let them know United Workers Party is back. You know, yesterday I stood on a line and when I stood on the line waiting for some fish, some some um, you know, roasted fish they had there going on at my favorite place. I heard a guy said, he saw me on the line and he said, a guy came forward and he said to me, TP, I love what you guys did in New York. It was very good. And I said, thank you. So he overheard the conversation and he said to me, he said, oh, flabo vivant, flabo la, la ne pati wa flabo. Typically, I ignore these things. But I have to say to him with a smiling face, continue to delude yourself. Continue to, continue to fool yourself that the United Workers Party is dead. Because we will prove to you how much we are not dead when the next elections is held. And you know he kept quiet. He kept quiet and he smiled at me and said to me that he's just joking. But I know he wasn't joking. I know he knew very well that what I had said had plenty of truth to it. And so, folks, I have a fire in me. I have a fire in me that you cannot put out and no one will put out. And that fire in me is to move our party forward and to work hand in hand with the collection of the willing, those who are ready to move forward. This is, these are the people I am prepared and open to working with. So don't come out with your bad vibes, your negative vibes. It's not going to work. You can't have a party every time on social media you have other people saying they hear this, they hear that. Because people are licking information to so-called host on social media to have them malpally our party. Stop it. End the nonsense. And that is why no one should fear moving to a convention. Because as we move to a convention, 
in a free and fair convention, the people of our party, the supporters and members of our party will get the desired results because this is a democracy. And so anyone who wants to challenge anybody, you are free to come forward. No one is preventing you from coming forward. You are free to come forward. Challenge Alan, challenge me, I challenge anybody who has said they want to or declared that they want to run for office here in, 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 in our party. Challenge. Democracy, that's what we believe in. We are brothers and sisters, and so that democracy must unite us. You know? It must unite us. Challenge. Stop hiding behind the rocks. Stop hiding behind the trees. Stop hiding behind social media people on Facebook to get your messages of division out. End it! End it! Stop it! Because we are ready. You can't have people with fire in their bellies. You can't have 37,400 people with fires in their bellies. Ready to move on. And all you want to do is become an anchor around the necks of those who want to move this party forward. You talk about work. I didn't come to the United Workers Party. I was born in this great party. 1964, I was born into it. And not only was I born into it, I stayed in it 40 years until I've given you the story of what Stevenson King and Richard Frederick what they did in 2007-2008, uh, shortly after the, the death of Sir John Compton, crushed me, basically. And here I was in the wilderness, thinking to myself, I will never serve in a party where Stevenson King is a part of this party. I knew back then he was compromised. And I say today that he is still compromised. And you know, I was right. So whilst the majority of United Workers Party supporters were grieving and crying about the snake, about this unholy individual, my mother, and myself, we celebrated his departure from the United Workers Party. And here I am back home, our party lost. I didn't shy away, because this is what Terrell Pruitt has been. I don't shy away, I've always loved this party. Always did everything I can. I've got a scar right here on my left cheek. It's a scar that always reminds me of the brutality of the St. Lucia Labour Party. Smashed with a placard bleeding on the side of my face. I wear it today and I will wear it for the rest of my life because of what? I was too outspoken back then as a boy. Too courageous as an individual, as a young person working in the army of John Compton and working for the United Workers Party. I bet I, I bore it all. So those of you who are talking, you don't know what work is. You don't know what it means to give your all because you're only caring about yourselves. And when I did this, I didn't do this for anything. And guess what? When I took Peter Philip to victory in Grosley for the very first time in 1982, I couldn't even vote for the man. But we took him to victory. We crushed the Labour Party for the very first time since 19... Since, since, since 1951, we crushed them. And we did. And it was because of hard work we did that. And no one gave me million dollar box or contracts or anything. Never requested that. Or my mom said that I needed to go out to study in 1987. So then when by the time the second election came, when I was able to vote, 
I managed Peter Philip, but we lost that election narrowly to Julian Hunt in Grosley. And so when Sir John Compton approached and asked if I would run, because Peter Phillips said he would not run in the second election, because we had two elections in April of that year, my mom insisted that he should not run. He's too young. Allowed a boy to go out and earn an education. And so when you, he comes back to St. Lucia, he can come back to the service of his party and to the people of this country by extension. So John agreed, wrote a beautiful letter for me to go get my student visa in Barbados. And guess what? I got it and I quietly left home and went out to study. During that period, I always came back for every single election there was to support our party and to be a part of what was happening here. And you know, this is my story. This is who I am. This is my story. It's not fake. There are persons still alive who can attest to the kind of work I did for the United Workers' Party back then. So when you look at me, I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. I'm not one who is two-faced, not sure of what he wants. I told you of what happened to me in 2000, 2007, 2008. I told you of how I was crushed and basically pushed out, if you want to put it this way. But you know, God is good. I'm an older man now, but I still have that fire and that love for the United Workers' Party. The party of Sir John Compton, the party of Henry Girodi, the party of the, the Busquet brothers, the party of the Morris brothers, the party of Frances Prudent, my mom, 1964. So don't believe I have not worked. Don't believe that I have never contributed anything to this party. I have. Lots, lots of sacrifices were made. And in 2005, when the UWP was down and out, it was because of Sir John Compton we formed Lucian Power in, in, in New York, which was very pro-UWP, to be able to raise the necessary funds that was needed to help our party fight the Labour Party and to finally come to victory. And guess what? Guess who? Who got, who got the benefit? Stevenson King. A guy who had nothing to do with the victory except he was just tapped last minute to run because Sybil Snap was supposed to have run in his, in his place. Folks, we have a call and I will take it now. Hello caller, you're on the air. This is TP. Okay, TP I am very good, my brother. Uh, how was your trip? It was fantastic. Fantastic. We are... Back, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. This is right. That's right. That's right. It is so it is Thank you, my brother. I do appreciate. I do appreciate. Yes. And folks, this is where we were. And during my conversation here, please call me. Let's converse this morning. Let's be honest with each other. Let's talk. Give me a call and I need to hear from you, which is 456-0931 and 485-0931. And a party have to evolve. No one can expect, no one can expect that the United Workers Party is still going to be the party of 1964 
of 19 of 1971 1979 of the 80s the 90s but the party must evolve but what must not change within the united workers party is our core principles of progress this cannot change and unity it cannot change i think we have a call here let's see if we can get it hello caller you're on the air this is tp good morning we're hearing you very low on the whatsapp line we seem to have a problem this morning with the whatsapp line so maybe one of the texts there can come in was during the course of this program to to help resolve this issue can you hear me you you should call me back because we're still having issues with the whatsapp line so if those of you who can call me directly do so because the whatsapp is very very low and we can't hear you and uh, you know folks that's where we are you know that's where we are and i think we're getting another call and we may end up having the same problem again uh, good morning caller good morning to you okay we can't hear absolutely anything and uh, we seriously have a problem with the whatsapp line so please don't call me on the whatsapp line call direct and until this is fixed and so until we can move on so allow me to just go on with the program but give me a call on, the, on directly uh you know folks you know it's it's tough i think we have another call again whatsapp line another call again on the whatsapp line hello champagne good morning i'm good but we're hearing you in a muffled sound although i have put up all of the the, the volumes on the on, on 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 the headsets and everything else we can't hear much of what you say as you call from the diaspora and other places and you call through whatsapp yes All right, Champagne, we can not hear you, but I heard a little bit of what you said. I glimmed out of it, and I'm going to re, uh, I'm going to repeat it here um, to our listeners, okay? Um, I don't know if it would make a difference with my phone, because remember, I'm, I can't hook up because of the model. Yes, yes. Okay? All right, okay. All right, I think, uh, folks... We have a few SLP supporters on the line this morning and I'm not worried about you guys. I'm not worried and welcome to Point Blank. Welcome to Sky FM. This is the place of truth. This is the place in which we will always speak our minds. So those of you who feel threatened by my presence here, who feel uh, threatened by uh, Sky FM, I want to say to you that there is nothing that you can do to stop us. I'm in a good place. I'm in a place where I belong. I'm in a place where my mother worked hard. I'm in a place where she made a contribution. I'm in a place where I made my own contribution. And a place where I'm well loved and well accepted. And so, to those of you out there on the live, you know, with your negative talk, keep on. It's up to you. It's a democracy. You're free to. But just understand. I never have to worry about myself. I'm blessed. I'm anointed. 
and I know that God is taking care of me, taking care of my family, and we're doing well. How are you doing this morning? What did labor do for you this morning? How's your struggle? How difficult a moment are you having? Please just tell us about it. Maybe we can help you. Maybe the United Workers Party, even in opposition, can help you because we are a party that will help not just UWPs, but those of you who are struggling out there. This is where we are. I think we have a call. Hello, caller, you're on the air. This is TP. Good morning, my brother. How are you? Okay, I'm very good. I'm holding up. I'm doing well. Yes. Yes, thank you. Yes. But that never happened. That never happened. Yes, thank you, Ian. I was, we were happy to do so. Yes. 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 Go ahead. Wow. Unbelievable. I'm telling you, unbelievable. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Oh, no. Bigger, bigger and better. We're not moving back. Thank you. Uh, thank you, my brother Ian. Love you. Love you. And love to all of our uh, members of the New York of Flavo Caucus. Thank you so very much. Folks, this is the kind of unity that is there. The kind of things that want you to work. The kind of things that want to make you feel that you're a part of an organization. This is what is happening here. There's a fire. 
In 2005, the fire began from New York. It started with dilution power. Sir John had sanctioned it. He had made even arrangements for us to get the keys to the Hellenites, which we did. So we went in there, since the Labour Party had completely abandoned the Hellenites with all of the fiasco that occurred there between the sales of the this and the that. You know, we have another call. Let's take this. Hello, caller, you're on the air. This is TP. Good morning, brother TP. Welcome back home. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. And I just want to add to what Brother Ian was saying. Not only are you a lover of all of the United Nations Party, but also of your nation, the Lucia. Thank you very and much. the reason why you do what you do. Thank you. And the reason why we support you. Thank and you. And again, I will concur with Brother Ian and say you are the chairman of my choice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank my you. brother, I just need to add one more thing. Go ahead. That is what distracts the intent to distract. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Loud and clear. We're hearing you loud and yes. clear. Yes. And I am yes. And I'm in a position to make this statement that I'm about to make. Yes. The country is constituent. The membership of the United Nations Party is growing steadily. Amen. Amen. Okay. I'm in a position to say. <laughs> yes. So when the distractors say that they are confusing or creating confusion, all they are doing is leaving people no other choice but look towards a party that is going to bring change, a party that has the ability to turn things around. Amen. Things Amen. Are stupid people. Amen. And I'm speaking about folks who voted for the Labour Party the last election. Yes. And they are disappointed. Very much. They didn't expect to experience what they're experiencing now. When I go to my community and I speak to known members or supporters of the Labour Party, they just have to open their hands and raise their shoulders. Yes, yes. Some of them just shake their hands. Yeah, because they lost they can't say yeah. anything. anything. Yes, that's right. My encouragement to those, particularly from Castro, is if keep Moving forward. Ah. Uh, keep moving forward. Yes, that's right. Expect nothing from distractors. That's right. But distraction. That's right. That's right. We're not going to encourage you. That's right. And I'm saying to Brother Jordan, who is the chairman of the party, yes. my brother, yes. no, sorry, the, the chairman of the constituency group, I'm encouraging you with your fine leadership. You have my support. Amen. Let's keep doing what we're doing. We are on the winning side. That's right. We will succeed. That's right. There is no doubt about it. I am doing my small bit and I know the others are. Yeah. And yeah. to you, Chairman, you be encouraged. And you said something so beautiful this morning that you accept the fact that you are anointed, my brother. Thank you. Amen. You have Amen. accepted the fact yes. that you are moving forward. Amen. You have accepted the fact that God is with you and your family. Amen. You're on the right track. Amen. Amen. You have a wonderful day. Thank you. And blessings to you. Thank you. Great job as usual. Thank you. Talk Thank you. you next week. Very good. Very good. Okay, folks, um, you're airing your, your views, your opinions, and you're entitled to it. And thank you for the encouragement. And as I said, as of next Sunday, I will be out in your neighborhood. We will announce where I'm coming or where I'm, I intend to visit. And I'm giving, and we are going to give you the time so that you can meet me out in the streets. If it's a park, we will meet in the park. If it's in the streets, we will meet in the streets. If it is someone who is willing to open up their homes so that I can visit, I will do so. No longer dragging our feet on this forward movement for change, no longer uh, uh, dragging our feet on the possibilities, the endless possibilities that are before us. We need to move forward and we're going to move together in unity. Good morning, caller. You're on the air. Good morning. I'm very good. And you? Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, it is. <laughs> 
Yes, she is great. Absolutely, she is great. She's a superstar. Yes. Yes. From, yeah, from 2000, I did speak to, from very early in 2007, yes, in 2007 I spoke to a lot of members of the party. At the time, yes, I did. And I, I had not uh, left yet. I was so hurt by what had happened and the kind of thing that I was told. And uh, I still have the documents which we will we will release at the appropriate time, you know, because I had saved those, you know, I had saved those. And, you know, at the time, King is Prime Minister of this country. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, we do. Yes. This is right. This this is right. This, this is right. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Oh, there are big plans. If I am chairman of this party, there are big plans for get-togethers. There are big plans to be able to, 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 yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Come what may, come what may. There is no time for wasting anymore. That this is right. This is right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I thank you. I love you guys there. Eh? I love you. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. I will be there and you guys can look forward to seeing me in your community in the weeks ahead, yes. Yes, thank you. Okay, all right folks, These are the folks, it's your opportunity to speak out, it's your opportunity to say as you wish. And um, to the Labour Party supporters who are divisive and, uh, and who are sick, writing a lot of sick things on this uh, forum, you will be limited if you don't behave yourselves. We want to be able to respect you, but you need to respect us and you need to respect our listeners and our, 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 our persons, our Sky FM family. And uh, we want to let you know that we will not tolerate some of these things. Uh, let's see if we can do a WhatsApp again. Hi Champagne, it's you again. I did what you asked me to do, so hopefully I can hear you this time. Not at all. Very, very in a muffled sound. It didn't work what we did, no. But we're doing well so far because we're getting calls directly and uh, the calls that are coming directly are coming out very well uh, in, in terms of streaming very well for us, yes. Yes, okay, very good. All right, folks, this was Champagne trying to reach us and uh, he has asked me to convey his love to everyone. I want to let you know that the... Uh, the event was so successful that Sky FM is about to have new equipment here. It has already been ordered long before I did. I, I left, I got uh, the okay from our manager Champagne to go ahead and order those things. So we're going to have some beautiful equipments here to be able to help our effort here in the studio. So, and Champagne, you know, is doing a marvelous job. It's such a a humble individual, such a man who's always willing to learn. He's not afraid to say that 
he does not understand things just like me. I'm not afraid of saying I do not understand. Like this technical boards here and everything else this morning with the breakdown, I, I've sought help and I didn't pretend as if I know everything because I don't know everything. I just want you all to know that Sky FM is a powerful station, not just here in St. Lucia, but throughout the diaspora. It's the only radio station that can ever go abroad and create that level of presence. Show me one. Let them try it. Let any of the so-called stations here in this country go out there and try and create or recreate what happened there last Sunday. And let the Labour Party, I know soon they are going to come ahead and have the Labour Party chapter in New York. They follow fashion. Don't worry. They're afraid. They're afraid. They're afraid of what they saw last Sunday. And it's the gospel truth. You know? So they'll have their caucus soon because they'll, you know, we just have to be, be like, give them, each, we do things and they just follow. Well, we are the leaders. United Workers Party in opposition, we are the leaders. We take a call here. Hello, caller, you're on the air. This is TP. Good morning, good morning. How are you? I'm okay. Can you hear me clear? Very clear, very clear. Yes. Yes. In the constituency branch. Yes. I agree with you all that. Yes, thank you. But I also that there should be a caveat, I think. Mm -hmm. Not in terms of effective people which are I think everyone is welcome. Yes, of course. They will. The yes. Yes. And I know it will happen again. Very well said. Yes. So I am assuming that when you are elected chairman of the branch, that would be part of the training. Yes. Also, consequently, that is in knowing how to look out for those of those who are going to travel in the country. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Keep on talking because I'm liking what you're saying. Yes, yes, yes. Do you think that the youth of the United States Party would have won the 2016 general election if Alan Chastain and the party did not read itself for Richard Frederick? They had to read themselves for Richard Frederick. Richard Frederick was the cancer in the body politic of the United Workers Party and in the country at large. So this was the right thing to have done. And they did, and they won. And so I am saying anyone within our party who is still pandering to Richard Frederick and the likes of Stevenson King, I am not saying to the party what they should do, but I am saying it is something that must be reviewed. You cannot be, have one foot here and the other foot over there. Richard Frederick is a destabilizing factor. He is someone who has this anger, this vexation, even if he has won an election against the United Workers Party and against our leader, Alan Shastney. And mischief is something these guys will always be up to. And we must gauge that, we must understand that. So you, it's a dangerous thing for anybody within our party to have one foot firmly rooted in the UWP but at the same time have linkage with persons who mean the party harm. And if you love... You I am happy with the answer that you give. Thank you. you. Actually extended yes. The yes, I, yes, I am. Yes, I have. This is right. Yes. Now, something else. Yes. You may not want to get involved in what I have to say. Yeah. I agree with you that we have to be diplomatic because of the position that we're pursuing. Absolutely. But the current ruler of the chairmanship of the party, a 
guy with this recognition, better I mean that he is a lawyer, you know, magistrate and, and public speaker of the house. And this guy does not have a physical law practice. He does not have a lawyer. What that tells is this is a guy who is lazy. Okay. You have to comment, I'm making my comment now. This is a guy who is not lazy. He is not prepared to go out there and do work for himself. I know that he is he, 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 he people if you want to call him good any work. That he will rent a pen chair, rent the chair in somebody else's office. He does not have the fight or the drive to have a practice and a chip of his own, even after the little recognition that he has. The little screen as a cover of the house of the assembly of the distant generation. That is not the kind of person that anybody in the United States of America, not delegates, should want to choose to live at. I will not have this guy, and I am approaching people just to look at the record of this man. Look at his impression. But come up with our strength and our faith in somebody who lives in this party and the chairman of the party. That's my contribution. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. All right, folks, of course, the things I don't always have to agree with, the things that I always don't have to say yes to. And uh, the scholar um, is entitled to his opinion. And um, all I can say is, as long as what is being said here, uh, you know, is not out of order, when I mean out of order, meaning curse words, meaning uh, disrespect or whatever, you know, you're free to speak. It's a democracy. This is a free radio station. It is Sky FM. And uh, people have the right to be able to express themselves here. You don't always have to agree with your views, but I have to learn to respect them. Okay? So this is where we are. You know, um, I think we have a call here, but I think we'll have problems with that same call. Uh, hello, caller, you're on the air. We, you've called on the WhatsApp line, and I would really like to hear you, but I'm sure will experience the same problem. Go ahead, let's try. Okay, we still have problems with the WhatsApp line. We're not hearing anything that you have to say. I know who you are, my friend, and unfortunately, we're not hearing, we can't hear what you're saying. No, we, we're not hearing anything. I can't hear you, N no. Yes, okay. It's my friend, my good friend, Jimmy Haynes really wanted to hear his contribution here this morning uh, but unfortunately it, it, it didn't happen uh, so if some of you can call me directly and uh, on you know direct lines that would be better because at least we can hear in everything that you have to say to us you know my job here is to unite my job here is to bring people together at times we may be we have differences of opinions and uh, we're free to, to, to speak on it because some people are not free, are not afraid of speaking on theirs. Some people are not afraid of leaking out information that's uh, very confidential within a party to people, social media people out there. And, and, and yet still, if someone says anything about them or about whoever, then suddenly they get angry and they, they talk about, oh, you're dividing party, you're dividing party. But who's really dividing? Who's dividing? Those of us who want to move forward or those of you who want to create that level of, of, of stagnation, that level of frustration, that level of division that is on call for at this time. You know, folks, I'll say something. Labour Party, we know that you're afraid of us because right now I've never seen a party so energised. I've never seen a party so ready. I've never seen a party so fixated on trying to move forward. I've never seen a base of a party that have not taken a break. A whole year after an election, they're still out there speaking out, being able to speak out and to let the world know they didn't vote for the St. Lucia Labour Party and that they're disapproving of the St. Lucia Labour Party. They're not afraid. So why are the rest of you afraid? 
Why is it that you want to do mischief behind closed doors? But you cannot come out in the open like all of us and speak your mind. Speak your minds. We didn't vote Labour Party. I didn't vote for Kenson Kazime. I voted for Leonard Montut. And I'm proud of that. I voted for the United Workers Party. And I am proud of that. And we're not campaigning throughout the country. Not for the Labour Party, but for the UWP. And I'm proud of that. And as one who has never, ever cast a vote for the St. Lucia Labour Party, I am proud of that too. Never. Never did. Never will. Never have and never will. There was never any given election where I ever cast a vote for the St. Lucia Labour Party. And I'm proud of this. And now that I'm home, and now that I am home, I'm home to stay. This is my party. This is the party that the four founders of the UWP worked so hard to have it survive. This is the party that Alan Shasme, his sweat, has gone out to keep this party up and running. But we have a lot of people in gratitude. A lot of people will believe just because lately they came in, they made a contribution and they've gone quiet that the rest of us have never done anything for this great party. Yes, we carry scars on our bodies. We carry the shame of being thrown poop on people, on persons within our party. Take your placard, smash it in the face of a 14 year old, which is myself. Do you wear scars? Do you have the stripes to show? This is the kind of things that happened because we were fearless, we were courageous, and we love this party. And so as my mom, in the closing days on earth, I might die before her, you never know. She still loves the party. She still loves the United Workers Party of which she gave her entire life to. Her entire life. A life of service. You talk about the women's arm. When it was first founded in the 80s, Frances Prudent and a number of women in the party, they were the ones who first introduced a women's arm to the United Workers Party. They've worked. They've worked. They've worked hard. It's not hearsay. Got loads of pictures to show you. Got loads of articles that I can share with you. They worked. They worked. They worked hard. And when we, we, we came in in 2087, and then suddenly, Ira Dovey lost his seat by eight votes in Ansley Canaries. Who did Janice Compton call to go out to Ansley to give Ira support? It was myself. Were you there? Do you understand that fearless attitude? Do you understand that devotion to a party? I was there on that long and difficult ride. I was there. I was present when the United Workers Party lost 16-1 and Sir John plotted or planned his return. I was there on that difficult ride to help lift this party out of the abyss of opposition by planning in the diaspora. The Baba Kenny slogan that you love so much, did you ever ask yourself from whom it came from? This was my slogan to Sir John. It was mine. The speech he gave in Miku to say that in the past he's made mistakes. But if given a, the opportunity to become Prime Minister of this country, he'll be Prime Minister for everyone. 
I had a big hand in that. Do you know that? Were you there? But guess what? We're back 15 2. We're in the abyss of opposition. And so, as I've done throughout my life, when I put my mind to it, when I put my heart and soul to it, the United Workers' Party, if I have my way, will not be there for too long. We've won. I've been part of every single victory that happened in my earlier time. I was part of it. Working hard in the youth farm, being relevant, making sure that the UWP could survive. So we've been that road of 16-1. They say Flabofini. They say we could never rise. But guess what? We rose again. We came back to office with Sir John Compton. And I can tell you, we are going to come back to office with Alan Chasney. Because Alan must come back. Scream, cry, pull your hair out, wash it down, do anything you want to do. Alan must come back. And Alan will be back. And that's a fact. That's a fact. My best years have always been within the United Workers Party. Working it within a team, working together with people of like minds have been what I'm used to. And whether you like it or you don't like it, Alan must come back. Shout it on the mountaintops. Shout it in the hamlets and in the small communities of this country. Alan Chastney must come back. He will come back. You think Alan was hated? No, Sir John was perhaps more hated than Alan Shastney. Woi woi, mi jabra. They call him Massa. They call Sir John a witch. They called him a devil. Imagine a good man. A man who had given in all his all to this country was being disrespected in this way. You can take feces, caca, poop, and throw on the platform. You can attempt when he is in his car, trying to escape from the boulevard, because he didn't get a chance to really get out of the car, to try to turn this car over, and to kill him. And had that happened that, that, that night, that fateful night, we would not have John Compton with us for a number 20, 20, 25 years later, until his death in 2007. This is who you are, Labour. Somewhat shameful people, hateful people, and you are led by leaders who are not better than you. You are led by leaders who have nothing in their heart that is good. And then you decided that Alan Shastney would be your target. And then you decided that suddenly you're going to play that racist card against him. And you decided that it was important that you remove him from office. But guess what? You may have removed the United Workers Party from office, but you didn't kill our spirits to get back into office. And that's a fact. And that's a fact. That's a fact! You haven't killed our drive to come back to office. And when we finally get back to office, We'll get back stronger and bigger than anything at all that you've ever seen. I'll take a call and we'll continue. Hello, caller, you're on the air. This is TP. Hello, caller, you're on the air. This is TP. 
Thank you so very much. Thank you, thank you. Must come back. That's right. That's right. That's right. Every day. Exactly. Exactly. Amen. Yes. This is correct. This is correct. Thank you. Thank you. I can hear you all guys in the background. Thank you for welcoming me back to Point Blanket to our country. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yes, yes. So thank you to beautiful folks throughout our country are calling in, texting, any manner they can reach me, they are doing that this morning and I am very pleased. And you know, going back to the story, after they did all of those bad things to John Compton, in two and a half years, God created confusion among them. They had this huge leadership struggle. They self-destruct. Self-destruct. And the Baba and the Papa Jab and the all names that they were referring to Sir John Compton. He was back again as Prime Minister of this country in 1982. He had won 14 seats out of three and continued to govern this country for the next 15 years, an additional 15 years from what he got in 1964 to 1979. So 30 years in all. And if God had not called him home, and if those that put pressure on him as an older man had not disrupted his spirits, he may have been there for the next 15 years, because that's how UWP governed. In stages of 15 years. So here they were picking on Alan Chastain. Good start to a good administration and a great leader. Then COVID came. And what were they saying to Alan? Close the border! Close the border! Close the border! Hypocrites. Sacre hot. COVID is coming. But you're asking him. To close the border but he had to balance lives and livelihoods and he did a damn great job of it and yes we paid the price because of your insincerity and the propaganda that you all had out there but God is good God is good that moment of self-destruction must come back again. That moment of self-destruction will be apparent within this government. This racist, evil government. That moment of distraction and that moment of division must ensue again. Because you know what? God is the God yesterday today and forever he sees all things he knows all things he even knows your minds he knows what's in your hearts and he knows what you have in store for this country is nothing but evil victimization wickedness division that's what he knows. That's already in your mind, neighbor. He knows that. He knows that. He can tell that. He knows from, from even before you were born that you are no good. He knew of everything that would happen. But I've always spoken about political redemption in politics. Sir John got his political redemption in 2000 in, 2000, in, in, in sorry in 1982 he got it again in 2006 and I promise you I promise you that Alan 
Mark Shastley will get his redemption come the next elections or before that. I'm not going to be a hypocrite. I support Alan Shastley. I, am, I stand with Alan Shastney. I'm not wasting my time with anyone while they may have the right to their opinion, the right to support whoever they want to. I'm not wasting my time. I need to move forward. We need to move this party forward. We need to move this country forward. Let's move to convention. Let's go. Let's go to convention. Let us go right now. I'm not afraid. So what? If I lose, you think you've silenced me? You've not silenced me. I'll still be very vocal. I have a platform, you know, and that's called Point Blank on Sky FM. It won't prevent me from being out there advocating for the United Workers Party. It won't prevent me from going from community to community and continuing the struggle and the fight. Not a fight, a physical fight against anyone, but a fight to get our message out. It won't stop me. It won't. Because I have a fire that is burning inside of me that no man or woman can put out. You can't put it out. It's too late. I'm back, I'm home. That's where I've always been stronger within the United Workers Party. The party of my birth, the party of my mum, the party of John Compton. That's where I am. You can't burn that fire. You cannot extinguish, sorry, you cannot extinguish that fire. TP is too far gone. And as I go to the towns and villages of this country, everyone whom I will present myself to, I will not leave until they're on fire. I will not leave until they're on fire. Until they understand that support for our party cannot come with conditions. That support for the United Workers Party must be free and fair. This is who we are. Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. We have a call on WhatsApp. I have a feeling it's not going to work, but it's my dear sister. Let's see if we can hear her. We can hear, we can hear a little bit, but I'm very sure it will not work until this issue is fixed. All right, let's go for that. Hello, my sister. How are you? Okay, we are hearing you very, very low on the WhatsApp line. Yeah, I can I can hear you a little bit, but our callers are not hearing you. No, it's not fixed as yet. No. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you too. I will, I will. You know she's a big fan of yours, so you know I think she's a bigger fan of yours than I than of than of point blank. So that's good. That's good. Women power, you stick together. That's good. <laughs> uh, TV loves you just as much, so don't have, you never have to worry about that. That's right. This is my my colleague EDJ on the line. I know you can't hear her, but she's just expressing um, a lot of love and, and giving the courage to be able to continue and we thank her for a call, you know, and we're going to go back. So ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. This is so very important. This is so very important because at the end of the day, if you are not inspired enough 
to help your party and then to help your party move this country forward you have a problem if you have a set of conditions by which you will help your party and it's only about what you can get then you have a problem I don't need anything I didn't come back to the United Workers Party for anything I'm blessed with a lot of things but one thing I can't say is that I will be the change thank you Dr. Sister Elizabeth Fede I will be the change that's who I am that's who I aspire to be and that's who you should aspire to be likewise every single one of you forget about this nonsense of conditions and what you can get and what you cannot get positioning yourself no TP is not looking for that the chairmanship of our party is not going to, if I am successful, will not pay me a single cent. If anything else, it will be me and the team and the executive and our leadership of our party, including the best of our party, that must work together to make it work and make things happen. This is what we want. This is the bigger picture, man. This is the bigger picture that we are looking at. Where we will come together as a big tent to make it happen. This is what we are talking about. This is what it's all about for me. This is what it's all about for Alan Shastner. This is what it's about for Lord you in the best. No more sitting down. No more allowing the Labour Party to kick us repeatedly. And we have no answer for them except to cry and sadness. I'm tired of crying. I don't cry no more. I'm sick of it. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to stand up. And I'm asking you to stand up for your party. Stand up for your United Workers Party. Be the change. Be the person who helped to move this party forward. Because we all have a contribution to make to this party. We all have a contribution to make. Don't allow nobody to limit your contribution. Or to make you believe that you, you, you're not worthy of making that contribution. It's not about them. It's about your party. And most of all, it's about your country. It's about your country. It's about where we want St. Lucia to be 20 years from now. It's about how to manage and stand this growing time of criminal and violent activities here in this country. It's about going to the supermarkets and being able to purchase little things like sugar and salt. Something the Labour Party is struggling to put on the shelves of this country. This is what you're doing. This is where we're heading. This is what we know to be wrong about this country. This is what we know to be wrong about it. When a government comes in, fools young people with a youth economy, we know it's a bogus. We know it's a scam. You know how many young people will be left with nothing by the time we remove this Labour Party government from office? You know how many people, young people, will be lost and will be dead before this Labour Party is removed from office? There's an urgency, folks. There is an urgency to read ourselves of this government. There is an urgency 
to be able to right the wrongs of July of 2021 and to restore this government of a United Workers' Party government back to office. We want our country back. We want our country back. So very vital. Enough of the talk. Enough of the opinions out there. What do you do? Are you willing to stand? When was the last time you came into Sky FM to have an interview? When was the last time you went to any media houses in this country to express your opposition to this government? But yet still you can be in closed doors, carry on mischievous stuff. You don't even have the intestinal fortitude to go to a radio program and be interviewed for your party. You don't even have the time to go to your neighborhoods and your communities and give people a rational why they should vote for your party. End it. End it. End this phase. End this phase. I think we have a call and I will take it. Hello, caller, you're on the air. This is TP. Bonjour, bonjour. Moi bien, moi bien. Comment vous êtes? Well. Merci, merci. Oui. Pour chairman, parti, oui. Moi, pourquoi vous avez une décision ça là? Pour moi, à présent, ça qui est plein important, c'est pour organiser la partie, nous restructurer et puis make sure that nous en ordre. Parce que ça plus important pour moi à présent, parce que pour courir pour l'élection. Yes. 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 Ah. Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Messi. We, we. The second job to the Bobo Shaipun. We. Well, you know, we know Buzvesa, no Buzvesa, no Buzvesa. Messi, Messi. Okay, thank you so very much as a caller who is really um, asking us to continue to the fire, asking us to continue the enthusiasm and the uh, and, and the energetic approach to moving our party forward that has begun and which will not stop, which will not stop at all. And that's what we are going to be doing in Kola Mukami Messio. Et pour Timo Paul Salau, bon nouveau matin. Et puis, moi, je voulais dire que je suis un ça. Tout chez moi, tout boyo, moi, tout tête, moi, tout pied, moi, moi, tout body, moi, moi, ça. Je ne pas tourner. Je ne pas une pièce clé pour tourner à présent. This is a time to move forward. And that's what we'll continue to do. Folks, Give me a call on the direct line. I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you. I want to hear what you think, what you are hoping to say to us. Unfortunately, I cannot take the WhatsApp line because we are having big time issues with the WhatsApp line this morning. So I'm unable to take a call. And so many calls are coming, are coming through the WhatsApp line, but because of the issue we have, um, we cannot take this call. But I will try one more time, which I think it will fail, but I will still try. Hello, caller, you're on the air. This is TP. Okay, I'm very good, but I'm, I think I'm the only one hearing you. Uh, our callers are not hearing.
Can, can you speak louder? In the diaspora? Okay, we're having difficulties hearing everything you're saying and I want to apologize uh, for this. Okay, so, um, yes, but yes, thank you. But, I, but I, I thank you for calling and I just want to apologize that we couldn't hear everything you had to say. Okay, thank you. You see, so many people are calling uh, this morning but we're unable to hear everything that they're saying, you know. So, um, folks, um, it's been a good morning. I told you it was going to be an abbreviated morning. It's not going to be your full uh, point blank uh, morning. And so um, I just want to thank all of you uh, who have taken the time to be here uh, with us this morning. Hopefully we can get all of our problems uh, sorted out in terms of the technical aspects of this, uh, of this station. I, I also said to you that we're going to have new equipment. They're on their way. Um, the manager, Champagne, and I had a good discussion and uh, he authorized me to go ahead and order what we will need and we've done some of that and so we'll have more of that and we wish to thank those of you in the diaspora who gave to us so generously and to ensure that Sky FM is going to have the kind of platform that it needs to continue the good work that we have started here. So thank you again. And I just want to say to you that uh, I love you and um, we hopefully by next Saturday we can get some of those issues sorted out. But of course, once the equipments are here in the next few weeks, I'm, I trust that we will be able to have a very smooth um, way forward, a very smooth um, um, transmitting of the message, this beautiful message of redemption, of this political redemption that this country needs and thank you again I love you and it was a pleasure being here with you this morning thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you keep the faith keep the loyalty work hard keep yourself away from distraction and work for the benefit and in the interests of your country and the way to, to do this is to be able to work within the, uh, the party apparatus to help to elect the government, a, a government of the United Workers' Party. Thank you, and I do sincerely love you.